welcome to our new sessions of cooking with technology that is cooking with philips where each one of you can be super chef today i'm going to show you one of the tastiest dishes we all love pizza but think about another version where we're going to fold a pizza inside is all the goody goody stuff and you can fry or even you can bake but today i'm going to use a air fryer of course i'm going to show you how to make it very simple and easy for this all we're going to do is take some water in this add yeast sugar and also some salt okay this is kind of straight dough method where you add everything and you have your pizza dough ready okay that's it now in this we're going to add some oil usually when we make the naan dough we do the straight method no nonsense method in this we're going to add flour we're going to make nice soft pizza dough kind of thing the dough is all ready i'm going to let the dough rest on the side but here i'm going to use this induction stove and i'm going to choose the roti dosa option which is 140 degrees centigrade it's going to get really hot in this i'm going to take some oil you know if you want to take olive oil it's good now i'm going to add onions and saute them a little bit in this also add garlic more than olive oil i would love to use butter when i'm making my pizza sauce but some people ouch for olive oil now once they are slightly cooked you're going to add tomatoes and also tomato puree you know just to make sure that we have lot of sauce and the cooking time is less okay and also i'm going to add a little bit of salt and uh, paprika powder you want spicy you can add some chili powder in this some pepper powder too in this you can add oregano that is what gives lot of flavor and also some parsley you know this is a quickest and easiest version i am doing and just let it cook for around uh, you know 3 4 minutes and your sauce is done but traditionally we let this sauce cook well and in the last before we finish we add the oregano and other uh, spices but when you are cooking small quantities you don't need to worry this should be good enough i'm going to take this into a bowl and i'm going to mix in some more ingredients which will go into a pizza which is going to get folded and we're going to air fry it now my folding pizza sauce is ready but first i'm going to add the ingredients here i've got corn you can use any of the vegetables you want and also i've got bell pepper tomato and here is paneer our cottage cheese in this i'm going to add the sauce you know you want these folded fried pizzas to have some kind of body make it juicy if you want to add you can add chicken or anything to this but if you want to make it vegetarian this is good i'm going to add cheese half of it in here and half of it in every round i fold wow somebody take this away from me because if it is in front of me i'm going to finish this in no time very tasty and good so this is what is the stuffing i'm going to use now we're going to roll the dough yes this is good here the dough that is slightly fermented also that's good and take the rolling pin and roll them a little bit thinner you know slightly thicker than our roti as the thicker the same size of our naan that should be good enough so i'm going to roll them easy only when you rest the dough you will be able to roll it like this if it is a fresh dough it will be pulling back okay but if it is pulling back just stop let it rest for 5 minutes and again roll you will get perfect sheet okay that's good this is perfect now we're going to take a cutter cut rounds here that's good you know they don't have to be rounds you can make them into squares any shape you want but we're going to take this dough and we're going to shape them again now i'm going to just 
apply a little bit water on the side and seal them but before that I am going to put the stuffing. In fact, I am supposed to fold them into half so it is better if I put it on one side but this is okay. The more the stuffing I can get in there the more tasty these ones get. We are going to take some water and just on the edges we are going to apply them so that they seal well. Now sprinkle some more of goodness that is the cheese. Once you have the cheese inside all you need to do is just fold them and tap the edges and you have the stuffing intact. As simple as this just seal the edges. See the more stuffing I try to squeeze it in here the tougher it gets to seal them but that is fine. Now they are all sealed well another thing you can do is take a uh, toothpick just make some holes this will help uh, you know these things from not bursting with the steam that is going to uh, come ok. Now if you want you can also give egg wash or you can just coat them with little bit of oil ok. You can even do with uh, butter or you know just regular oil is good enough that is it and they are ready to go into the, our air fryer. We are going to preheat at 200 degrees centigrade for around 4-5 minutes till this light goes off that indicator tells you that it is attained the temperature and then we are going to pull the basket out and we are going to put in and we are going to fry. Once this is preheated let us pull the basket out and drop your folded pizza call them kazon or just make sure oh, that should be good enough and put it in and we are going to let it air fry for around 7 minutes at 200 degrees centigrade. Now after 7 minutes the crazy moment for me because all excited to eat them wow you have to look at these each one of them so awesome uh -oh. and you can keep them ready and just you know fry them in the air fryer when your guests come I am telling you they go really crazy for these. Uh -oh -uh. So I am going to let this slightly chill down because they are going to be super hot inside after that I am going to enjoy them. Once the temperature slightly goes down this is when the cheese will be you know melting inside and oozing out and mm, with every bite it is heavenly. Wow. The dough is perfect, they are fried perfect and taste just super. Friends, it is all about technology, the future cooking. I am going there, I want you also to follow me and we will be creating some great recipes and easy methods to cook. So happy cooking. Mm. I hope you enjoyed today's session but do take part in our quizzes and cooking contest where you can win wonderful gifts from Philips. Innovation and you, Philips.